Welcome everybody. Today we're going to have another let's play for the Merchant of Skies. Thanks a lot for everybody who loved the first first impression video. Since it's really well liked, let's take a deeper look of this game. Today I'm hoping to explore more exciting islands and upgrade our ship further. And of course, I'm going to visit our singing carrots again because I'm a big fan of that carrot. And let's get started. Whoa, while exploring around the world, I suddenly found out we actually have a bank here so we can save our money and uh, get some interest. That sounds pretty amazing. I would love to invest 15%, 50%, but I have no idea what's the interest. Let's just try to invest it and see what happens. Jun, 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 jun. Oh, and now we can withdraw money. I love that. Dun, 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 dun. It's finally the moment for us to restore the lighthouse on Redmond. I have no idea what's going to happen, but let's take a look. Oh, look at that. It's, uh, it's slightly getting built, but we need more to continue upgrading it. Now we need 20 stone. Okay, we can definitely get that. That's not too hard, but I'm pretty happy with our money so far. And uh, look at the roadmap. I think I almost covered all the island unless there's some, um, some island hidden here. Um, if not, we actually discovered the whole world. Um, I'm hoping if the world could be a little bit bigger and more to explore. Um, but so far I had a lot of fun just going through the world and uh, buying low and selling high. Whoa, we made so much money! I'm super happy. Doing tasks for guild does make us a lot of money too, other than just buying low and selling high. And I think we're ready for the next ship. Berlin. Wow, look at its energy consumption and it has so many storage. I love it so much. Let's let's go get it. Dun, 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 dun. Oh wow, it looks so amazing. Especially that, that little thing that makes it move. That is so cool. I'm super in love with my ship. But other than the ship, um, I have to say that our after we explore the whole world, um, I feel like I'm doing more repetitive things rather than new and exploring. It's not that saying that the game is not fun anymore, it just feels more repetitive. And I was hoping that the world could be just a little bit bigger for us to explore more fun island, because that's my favorite part. After traveling around the world and gathering resources, I'm pretty sure we finally go through all the maps. And I think we can level level up our ancient lighthouse again with all the stones for it. So we can take a look at the map. So it's pretty clear. I doubt that there's a small island height here and there. So um, I think we're about to finish the game. Well, well, finish the map. And uh, I do feel like after the whole map is uh, explored, it, it kind of gets a little bit grindy. Now I just go around and collecting resources. Um, I'm hoping that there's more content to unlock or something different after a while. Maybe I was just um, being too, too criticizing. Um, but personally, when I play a simulation game, I really like to keep unlocking new contents once in a while. Otherwise, it starts feeling a little bit grindy, unfortunately. One of the features we haven't touched in this game is actually the island management part of the game. So we did bought this sand pit long time ago, and I was able to build a storage right next to it. It's pretty pretty cool. And then another thing we can do is, oops, select the wrong thing. Wow. We might as well just dig some sand, and then we can also create other things such as a sand mining depot. And then we can also make our own bread, make, making other iron products. So it's overall pretty cool. I would love to build a sand mining depot. Dun, 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 dun. <laughs> I really love how the buildings are created. It looks super cool. So I think I would rather send one worker to there because right now I do have an extra crew on my member or one need one more crew to operate okay let me send all the necessary worker there and then i think we should be able to get more sand the next time i come back that's pretty pretty cool and uh, let's see if there's any other building we can build maybe we can build a recharge station which is also very cool so far i just have the question of where to get the iron ingots i guess we'll find out soon 
Wow, buying islands and building things are not cheap. I actually spent almost all my money and uh, got some out of the bag. So now I bought this uh, island that's usually used to collect wood, and uh, I saw we can build a lumberjack's ha hut. Now let's let's do that, and then oh wow! So we need to send. Uh, right now I can only send one worker because. Uh, Otherwise, I will, I will almost have no worker. Well, I, I'll definitely get more worker and come back. And then, other than that, we can finally go build a sawmill so we can get wood into lumber. Oh, I love that! Well, we just need a little bit more stone, and then we can have forge and all the fancy stuff. I love that. Produce gears from iron and bottle from glass. It seems like there's still a lot more. Um, technology we can do for oh wow in the end there's alchemist produce medicine from tea leaves and spice and apple juice oh wow requires bottles okay so I think the game right now gets a little bit grindy but it seems like there's a lot more content to grind with all the money and the resource collection we're finally ready to go get some new technology unlocked so we can bake build an oven it will Bake wheat into bread and mold sand and stone into bricks. Dun, 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 dun. <laughs> I really like our um, our new island. So I do need to send two crew to operate this, and we should be able to have some great resources. Brick production. Oh, turn two sand and one stone into brick every single day. I love that. But I wonder where where does it get sand? Uh, get stone though because uh, right now this island could only collect sand and then turn three wheat into one bread every day i see maybe we need to put some into our our storage so i'm gonna leave all my stone here just to see whether it will turn all of them into brick oh i can't wait for it to generate more stuff for me to sell our island is really growing look at that and then i'm going to add a new building to it which is dun 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 dun, sawmill so it can cut wood into lumber and we can finally produce lumber wow it's a lot bigger than i thought and then well we need to send two more crew there and uh, let's take a look i'm surprised that when i send the crew they don't show up immediately though but it's pretty cool now that we were finally able to get some lumber production and let's see how many is in our storage right now i believe i have a lot wow we really do well i will get a little bit back and then the rest of it it can be used to, to cook to create more lumbers for me and uh, oh, i really hope we can restore the light soon lighthouse soon because it's uh, it's pretty cool and uh, i just want to see where does the games go after we unlock all of that now that we're finally rich, I'm ready to buy this gem mine. Well, I, I'm really torn between buying this gem mine or get a new ship. The new ship looks amazing, but I think we need this island to produce more things. So, dun dun, this is our island now. I really wish we could change the island name. How cool that would that be? And then also we need to build our storage as always. There we go. And then... I'm guessing the next one we want to build is a gem depot. Oh wow, building gem depot is not easy. We need some bricks, which are the next level product. Okay, we'll be able to build it soon, so we can finally start mining gems, which sells for a lot of money. I love that. This island is so cheap. It's only a hundred dollar. Wow, I'm so surprised how cheap lately the island is. And then we gotta have it and we have to build our beautiful storage and the next thing is definitely apple gatherers hut gather apples and place them into the storage who doesn't love that dun dun oh i love this little hut there okay i'm going to send two more worker there oh do i still have crews left i feel like i've been sending workers everywhere oh no we only have one crew for the whole ship that's dangerous I, I do feel like our ship is moving slow, slower because only have one crew. Um, might be just me. I, but it's pretty cool that now every time we move, we get more stuff. <gasps> Look at that, I already have 10 bricks. So now all we need is 30 wood and we'll be good. 
Well, what's next for our super fancy production chain? I think it definitely should be forged. So now we can create iron ingots from ore and glass from sand. Wow, this world, it doesn't have iron ingot or sand yet. So if now it has it, it's gonna be super super cool. I need to send more workers to it again. But now we should be able to have iron ingots. That's so cool. Well, one thing I need to do is I probably need to provide the iron to this island. Otherwise, I don't know whether it could have it or not. And then we probably also need to upgrade our storage. So it had become a fancier storage and uh, could store more goods. Love that. Oh, hello, Sky Turtle. You're the coolest. I think this is the last island we haven't buy where it has the resources we don't have. Other than that, we got every single type of island, so we're full production chain ready. Let's purchase this island and dong dong, you guys witnessed the first step of Milky become super rich in this world. And then the first thing of course we need to do is build a fancy storage. And then we need some iron mining depot. <gasps> Unfortunately, we don't have enough uh, wood plants. Okay, we'll get that soon and we will be back. Let's visit our fancy wood plank generating place. We already have 12 wood plank there. And uh, let's see if I can... <gasps> Look at that! The glass! I love it! It already generated so much glass and the iron ingots. Oh gosh, now I really really feel rich. I think this part of the game is actually really funny and I wish I have started doing it earlier. I found a place that the sand is very expensive and I'm gonna sell all of my sand to them. <gasps> How satisfying is that? But unfortunately, I found out none of the merchant is willing to buy my glass and lumber. So maybe, maybe I should sell the glass on a bizarre place and just see how it works. And uh, I'm hoping that it could sell for a lot of money. Other than all the production chain, apparently we can also build our own cheap recharging station. Isn't that amazing? I love that. Unfortunately, it looks like a normal recharge station, so I was hoping that it would look a little bit different. But it is so, so, so much cheaper. Look at that. I love it. Now I feel like one of those rich person that can, you know, create my own things instead of using other people's, other people's stuff. Well, my main goal here is to get more irons from here, unfortunately. Unfortunately, I don't have enough iron from my place, so I have to still mine some once in a while. But so far, I think I can leave off um, leaving by just getting all the stuff out of my island's production. This is making so much more money than buying low and uh, selling high. <gasps> Oh my hard work and the uh, effort finally paid off. We're ready to see the next level of our lighthouse. Oh, it's so much grinding. I'm so happy. Dun, 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 dun. And that's it. Oh gosh. And now we need more bricks and more glass. No. Oh, oh gosh. Getting the next level of lighthouse really isn't easy, isn't it? Uh, unfortunately, we weren't able to finish building our lighthouse this episode. Well, on a deeper look of this game, I think it's a very unique idea and it feels like refreshing and fun when I first played. But the con new content soon runs out and it becomes a tiny bit of grindy. I had a lot of fun with managing island, that part of the stuff. But I really hope the de developer will keep adding more unique islands and events in game. Overall, I do have a lot of fun playing this game and I hope you do. Thank you so so much for watching. Please remember to click on the like button if you like this video and would like to see more about it. Thank you so so much for watching and I will see you next time.